hey, check it out. So I've been playing around with Premiere Pro, and as you can see, I've learned some stuff, including how to add a border to animations or to to my videos. Um, and I got some other stuff that you'll be able to check out uh, hopefully later on in the video. So right now I'm still working on the lip syncing uh, that I had from before. Uh, I actually was uh, did some did some more work off camera, and coming back to the lip syncing being mostly done here, um, or I should say, I have all the frames done, but now I need to go in and actually fix it and make it look nice. Like I said previously, lip syncing is not something that comes very easily to me. So right now, uh, I'm I'm deleting a lot of frames and redrawing a lot of frames. Uh, either finding a better mouth position or some other uh, doing doing some other alteration in order to m maybe make the mouth look a little bit more natural or move a little bit more smoothly transitioning from one pose to the next so as you can see I'm just playing through it right now and and I'm I'm listening to it while I'm working on this and and hearing what it sounds like looking what it's looking at it um, and comparing those two and seeing if they line up so now I'm going to ha I'm going ahead and coloring in the mouth. I have another color palette that I'm using uh, just to do this really quickly, and um, so fairly happy with that. But some stuff does need to get shifted around, uh, which is what I'm doing right now. And um, you're gonna see me uh, slide things around uh, the face because, as I said, when I'm just drawing them one at a time, I'm not really focusing on where the, the mouth is, so it'll end up sliding all around the face um, throughout the, the lip syncing section. And then I'll have to come in afterwards and fix it. So what we have here is, um, so now I've, I've, I've uh, for the most part, I finished up the lip syncing and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to uh, the uh, the animating of the 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 rest of Sam's body. Um, I will be working on the arm for the most part um, as he gestures towards uh, the girl that is approaching that Mac is going to talk to. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. the The arm by default or starting out is in a bottom position. And now I'm bringing it up, uh, up into a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, um, but a raised position uh, as to point out the arrival of the girl. Um, and this is one of the things that you'll sometimes see in, in animations where characters don't really move at all when they're talking. Uh, and this is a huge problem because it makes them feel very rigid and lifeless. And when you're animating, you are bringing something to life. So uh, being able to uh, convey emotion and provide context and do all those things through motion uh, and, and through the voice acting and special effects and, and sound effects, all that stuff, is, 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 it's all part of animating. And it's all part of making something believable or believable enough. So what I'm doing right now is trying to draw hands. Hands... You can get good at them, and you can figure out how to draw them, but it takes time, and it's just something that I haven't figured out yet. Uh, really, I occasionally I'll get things to look really nice first try, but I on on this hand in particular, I was just really struggling to make things look right. So, um, I'm I'm sort of figuring out right here. Uh, I've I've got something that I'm satisfied with that'll work. Uh, for this scene, um, you know, it's not a super close-up or anything. It's um, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but if you don't spend any amount of time on your hands or your lip syncing, your the quality of your video is going to be a lot, uh, a lot worse. It's going to be a lot worse, and it's going to be noticeable. Um, and yeah, they take time, uh, but doing these things um, really add something extra to your to your animations. Or really just something that should be there to begin with. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the in-betweens of, uh, of the arm raising. 
And this is this is the way that I prefer to animate most things, where I'll do the two extreme poses, the two or three or however many extreme poses of the anime of of, of the movement. Um, in this case, him raising his arm. So you have the bottom position and the top position, and then you'll do an in between, which is either the dead center or close to the center of the of the movement. And then you'll go in and do the in betweens, in between the in betweens. Uh, if you know if that's not confusing enough for you, <laughs> um, and what this allows you to do is to not have to guess uh, how long it's going to take for an, for a movement to take place. You'll just be able to say this is where it's going to end. This is where it's starting. I have X amount of frames to do this, and uh, you'll be able to make it work. And you'll save a lot of time, and you won't have to throw out um, a lot of shots. Or a lot of drawings. Um, so right now I'm getting to the point um, where I'm almost done with this. And I'm just adding a little bit of a bounce at the top of the movement. Because arms don't just come up and stop immediately without uh, without continuing their movement a little bit. They have momentum to them. Um, and it's just another thing that makes things uh, makes the animation look a little bit more realistic. Obviously, these characters aren't very realistic looking. They don't have noses, <laughs> for one, and they're, I'm sure they're not anatomically correct. The heads are very large uh, for these these uh, high school boys. Um, the heads would be a lot... All these things, um, you know, it's realism to an extent of what you're trying to convey. Um, so here what I'm doing is I'm... Also, uh, giving the head movement in in here, because you know, with a with the arm moving and the body moving, um, the head also uh, is is moving on the emphasis of each of of the words of what he's saying to Mac, of what Sam's saying to Mac. Um, it will move up and then it'll move down, and that's kind of how it usually goes. It'll it'll have a it'll have an up bounce and and then he'll say whatever he's saying there and then it'll come down um to announce the or to it's a visual representation of the closing of his sentence and then what i'm doing here is i figured out or i realized that oh i have to leave this guy on screen for a while longer because mac is still going to be talking and sam is still going to be on the screen So what I'm doing here is actually I'm reusing some of the animation that I just did with the arm moving up and altering it so that it moves down. Um, and this is a huge time saver for me so I don't, uh, so that I don't have to redraw all these arm uh, positions. Um, I only had to change one or two things so that it fit well with the uh, downward movement. And it has about the same quality that you'd see if, he, if I were to redraw it of, of him moving it downwards. Uh, maybe some frames would be, or maybe some positions would be slightly different, but for the most part, it's about the same. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a little thumbs up, so that I know, and so that I can keep providing you with something to watch. If you missed the first part of this little series, you can check it out by clicking on the TV. And if you want to see the first episode of Miserable Mac, click on the computer. For more of my other work, take a look at my YouTube page or my Newgrounds page. And thanks again for watching.